Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and this is our ultimate guide for booking attractions in Banff. In this video, we will be sharing our tips on how to save money on attractions in Banff and Jasper National Park, as well as a step-by-step -step process to book them. Banff is truly a nature's lover paradise, so let's dive in right in and start planning your perfect adventure. We booked our attraction tickets through Pursuit and now we are going to show you how to save on ticket prices as these attractions can be a bit costly with each one costing around 60 Canadian dollars at least. Pursuit offers various combos and passes on their website. Link is given in the description box. That can help you save on attractions. They offer attractions such as the Banff Gondola, Lake Cruises, Columbia Icefield Adventure, Skywalk and Golden Sky Bridge. You can book these attractions individually or purchase pass from their website. To book your tickets, please select the month of travel as this will determine the, the price of your pass. We started planning our band visit two months in advance and at that time the price for this pass was 199 but when we actually bought them in June, prices changed to 241. We then checked the price for July to compare and it was only 199 even though it is one of the busiest months to travel bands. That's how we got to know that if you are buying your pass in the month of your travel, you would end up paying $42 extra. So my advice is to buy it at least one month in advance to save your money. We didn't know that earlier, but you know. We aren't interested in cruises, so we chose another option, selecting a combo of two attractions, one of which is gondola and you can choose another one. Most of these combos will save you around 20 to 25 cat per person. We chose the Columbia Ice Field, which includes a skywalk. So we had three attractions in total. Click on book your pass and then select the number of travelers. Please note that infants aged five and under travel for free, but they still need tickets. Once you've selected the travelers, press continue and you will be taken to a page where you need to select your travel date and reserve a time for your attractions. You can also choose to select the time later. Please note that gondola morning slots fill up quickly, so select your time early. We call them one day before our ride and we only had one slot available. We suggest booking your time slot in advance as you can easily change the time slot by calling them anytime. Please note that if you are planning to visit both attractions on the same day like we did, be sure to allow at least 5 hour gap between the two. The band gondola and exploring Sulphur Mountain will take approximately 2 hours unless you want to dine in at the restaurant at the top. Additionally, the drive from Gondola to Columbia Ice Field will take about 2.5 hours without any stops. After selecting your date and time, you will be taken to the payment page. Make your payment and you will receive a confirmation. We tried searching for discount codes but couldn't find any that worked. However, if any of you find one, then please mention in the comment section. We hope you found this video useful. Please share your feedback or if you have any queries in the comment section below. Happy adventuring! And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.